So this, I feel, is, dare I say, almost Ronnie Coleman's best. You know, um, he has some really good physiques throughout the years. Uh, I think it was a 1998 uh, Finland Pro. Man, he was exceptional there. I think it was 98 uh, or 99. Uh, this is the 1999 Grand Prix. I think this was the British Grand Prix. Uh, that show that had the awesome and amazing freaking lighting, man. Like, you know, this show is insane. And I feel this is Ronnie's, like... I don't know if this is best, but I feel like it's the best look because the lighting is perfect. His physique is insane. Uh, everything is just as good as it can be, man. I mean, the lighting, it almost looks like the videographer, whoever did this, is like they sharpen the lens of their camera. Like they have like sharpened lens. You know that Instagram filter uh, where you can like sharpen your photos and look really, really freaking grainy? It's like they recorded these routines with that filter. <laughs> Uh, bro, look look at this shit, man. I mean, dude, like, I, I can't even understand what I'm looking at. I mean, the legs, you know, the detail through the chest. Wow. Grainy as hell. Shredded as hell. Bone freaking dry. Massive and huge. The down lighting, the fact that the background is completely black. <laughs> you know, I remember Arnold's, wow, he actually, you can actually see his tricep. If you know anything about Ronnie, like, he never really had tricep detail. He had, like, a thick tricep. You just really couldn't make out, like, the actual muscle separation itself. But there, I mean, you can see it fine. I mean, the lighting was so good that you can see his tricep. <laughs> wow. Look at this damn shit. Like I was saying, I think it was the, the 1970 or 71 or 1969 uh, Mr. Olympia where Arnold, he requested a black backdrop. <laughs> Because uh, he wanted Sergio Oliva to um, not be that visible on stage. Uh, but honestly, like Ronnie with the black bat drop, I mean, given some good lighting, bro, it, it looks better. It looks better than like some colors or some freaking flag or whatever they typically do. Man, th this, is, this is insane. The detail, the size, the graininess, the sharpened filter they're filming it with. I mean, you know, never before seen and never seen bef after this as well. I don't think we've ever, 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 ever had any show even close to this kind of lighting and this kind of um, product. I mean, this is different. You know, uh, ooh, look at that, bro. <laughs> that is just not even human. I mean, I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. It's just too much. It's too much muscle that is too dry. You know, usually when you see a guy that's big, he looks like Big Rami. Big Rami is big, but he doesn't come this lean. Now, once again, the lighting and the camera, but bro, like, goddamn. Like, what am I looking at? Very freaking lean. Uh, very freaking peel, man. Look at the shoulders, bro. Look at the detail. Look at that bicep, man. Like, detail in the quads. Oh, my lanta. Arms are freaking massive. Like, his tricep detail is like non-existent but it's really big big front in the front double big in the lot spread big in the most musculars it's just in the actual tricep pose like is doesn't look massive but um yeah ronnie looks insane so anyway guys uh let me know what you think about ronnie coleman 1999 british grand prix uh some of the absolute best lighting overall i mean <laughs> like, like look at that tricep he actually has a tricep that's crazy so anyways guys I'll see you next time Bye bye